My name is Wolfgang Fengler. I'm with FMW Solutions. Uh, I have a background in mechanical engineering. I have a master's degree from UCLA. And I am here to evaluate the boiler for structural integrity. do that in a number of ways, basically looking at the geometry of the boiler itself, at the desired operating pressure, and then we look at the soundness of the metal since it's been sitting in the park for many years. And we do that by taking thickness readings uh, all over the boiler. And we combine that with understanding of the metallurgy, particularly the carbon content of the metal, um, and also the strength of the metal. And all that feeds into a set of equations that tell us how sound the boiler is. And from what we've found so far, things are looking pretty good. So World Testing uh, has been a terrific partner. They bring in the instrumentation that helps us to understand what's going on with the metal particularly. And these are instruments that weren't available back in the day. Uh, ultrasonic testing for the thickness. They have special testers. We can translate the hardness of the metal into the tensile strength of the metal. And they have kind of a little sniffer device that blasts just a little tiny chunk of the metal off and they can sniff that and tell the composition of the metal. And all that feeds into the calculations that I perform to understand how sound the boiler is. So one of the techniques that we developed at FMW Solutions for analyzing these types of boilers is to take all that numerical data, and particularly the thickness readings, which are the most important, and we sort of take the boiler, it's a 3D object, and kind of cut it out into a flat sheet plug in all those data points, and we include geometrical references so we know exactly on the boiler where there's a, an issue if there is one. And we can go in and look at that spot and take a closer look and make sure if we need to do a repair or not. So there's a number of different regulations and things that these boilers fall under. First and foremost is the Federal Railroad Administration, and they actually have guidelines for steam locomotives and for the boilers on them that we have to follow and all those things feed into the calculations that we do to make sure the boiler is safe to operate. So Shane Metter is the chief mechanical officer here and extremely knowledgeable uh, number of locomotive rebuilds under his belt and sometimes finding problem areas is very easy. In this case we found some weld repairs in a corner of the boiler that the railroad did way back in the 1940s likely. Welding techniques were not as well known and understood back then so to us that's a red flag to take a look at that for problems. And we found pretty much what we would have expected. There's some cracking here that you can see and in a few other areas. So we've cut that area out, it'll be replaced and we're actually going to improve it by using slightly thicker material and that'll go back in and we'll get this thing ready to get back on the high iron. I'm Gary Benzman, President of Diversified Rail Services. We are a steam locomotive restoration contractor, been in business 42 years, and have restored about 33 locomotives to service. Looking at the 576, we can see repairs that the railroad probably would have done next had they kept running it. Maybe that's 20% of the repair work that we're looking at. But in 60 years of sitting in the park, is the other 80 percent. I think it's got a great chance of uh, being a really good engine and it seems to have escaped the worst of what could have happened in the park. The repairs that we're going to get into were common repairs in the era of the steam operations. So we have a lot of the general maintenance practices of the railroads and we will be using those in the boiler repairs. It's uh, a lot of it's pretty straightforward, but it all has its own particular disciplines and requirements. And we've always felt that if we use their methods and, uh, and perform the repairs the way that they did, we can expect to get the results that they did.